Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my garden. It's a beautiful sunny day. About 25 Celsius, very low humidity. Bit of wind, but no rain. And I thought I'd film out here today. There will be some background noises and I may have to pause the video quite a bit. But let's get started. What have I finished? Well, I started this project on December the 28th, 2022. It's not a it's big in the sense for an amigurumi for me but it's not a difficult pattern it just had a lot of bobble stitches and for some reason amigurumi bobble stitches really made my old hands hurt so i would do a bit put it aside do a bit put it aside i did finish it about a month ago it's just that i had to be motivated to put it all together and i've finally done that and i'm really happy with the outcome so what is the pattern? Well, it is Bailey the Bobble Bear by the Mystical Hippie AU. It's a paid for pattern. The Mystical Hippie is the young Australian girl crocheter. She has an Etsy shop with other patterns. They're not all bobble stitch. She also has a YouTube channel. So I'll put a link in the description below. It's really well written. Lots of photos telling you what to do what it should look like just an exceptional pattern i can't remember what i paid for it i think at the time she may have had them on sale which she does quite regularly so make sure you check out her etsy shop and her youtube channel she uses a lot of rainbow colors i did mine in something different so for mine i decided to use yarn that was a gift of kindness from barbara in the usa Hi Barbara, I used the yarn she sent me, Premier Basic Mosaics. The colour is bouquet, it's a four weight and there is 216 yards, 198 metres per ball. And I used two and a bit balls. Even though he is quite big, there is a lot of stuffing. So would you like to see my Bailey? I don't know if I'll call him that, but here he is. A little hard to show him outside, but that's my Bailey, the Bulba Bear. He's really cute. Every time I see him sitting on his own special chair, I really like him. I think he turned out really well. Look at all those bobble stitches, folks. That's what hurt my hands. Yes, he has his own special chair. The reason being is there was there's a small charity shop attached to a church, just a standalone charity shop, and it's near my work. And um, one of the ladies I ran into her last week, they knit and crochet for charity, and she said to me, "Oh, we haven't had a lot of yarn donated lately," and it's it's our three weeks of winter as I call it. And I came home and I on the weekend did a big clean up and I came up with a big bag of yarn to donate and Thing and I went there to donate it and he did what he calls charity shop rescue. He found something and he rescued it from the charity shop. Here it is, the Bobble Bear's chair. He said he can sit on here for your market stall and show off on the market stall. Put him up there let people see him. I haven't got him quite positioned right there, but yeah, it's hard outside with the chair. But it is wood, and he only paid $2. So yes, his charity shop rescue. I think I finally have enough um, shop fittings for my market store. I hope he doesn't keep buying more. Not that he can at the moment, because yesterday I dropped Thing at the airport. He's now on his way to Spain for three months and we will meet up in September in the UK which means I won't have a lot of time for crafting I'll have to pick up the slack he won't be here with his helping hand to help me out um, but I'm sure Reeves will give me a hand it just means my crafting time is reduced now I have finished another project and this was another gift of kindness from my friend Ulia now she told me at the time she bought two I think it was from a lady on Etsy, but it could have been eBay. I could be wrong. Passion Knit for Lovers of Yarn Animal Toy Kit. And it was 
a bilby kit and I have made this. There are other animals. There's a rabbit, a kangaroo, unicorn, teddy, koala. Oh, it's not a rabbit, it's a koala. It's a funny looking koala. They're quite small pictures, but the bilby is sweet. It came with the yarn, pink and greys, and this colour for the paws. I made one slight change. I did not use this colour for the paws because that's not what a bilby looks like. So here's my bilby, all finished. Ta -da! I did use the provided pink yarn for his nose and then I found yarn from my stash in pink to make him look like a real bilby. He sits like that. He's really cute. He's got floppy legs. He's very, very cute. I really like his ears because they come out at night and it is winter and cold with the leftover pink yarn. I made him a bit of a scarf. So bilbies are an Australian marsupial. They're nocturnal, but their numbers are under threat. Um, big birds are their natural predator that catch them. They're not that very, not very big bilbies. And unfortunately, feral cats are their biggest predator. And that's why their numbers are reducing. We're trying to do something about the feral cats, but there is a Save the Bilby Fund. Ta-da! The Save the Bilby Fund, at Easter, we're encouraged to buy chocolate bilbies because 20 cents from every sale goes to Save the Bilby Fund. And Thing is a really big fan of bilbies. He makes a regular donation monthly to Save the Bilby Fund. But there you have it, aren't they cute? I know Uli is a big fan of bilbies, his little tail, everything. He turned out really sweet and I'm really happy with him. He's my second bilby I've made. This is the first one from a kit. The other one was from a pattern called Baxter the Bilby. I think this one actually turns out better. It looks really sweet. I'm distracted by my dog Saxon. He's hunting. He's hunting garden lizards, little garden lizards. The thing is, he never catches them, but he has a lot of fun trying to hunt them. Anyway, thank you, Ulia. He turned out really well. I hope you've made yours. If not, you better get on to it. I want to see yours, no doubt. Being the professional crocheter and teacher that you are, you'll look slightly better than mine. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my finished objects finally finished i'm getting into bigger amigurumi how big will i go who knows i did enjoy making both of those so i've gone from this to this to this let's see how big i go until next time stay safe stay well take care and be kind to each other bye for now